What's up, my fellow lionesses and lions? Welcome to the Project Lioness podcast. We are here to disrupt the mainstream narrative when it comes to health, holism, and human consciousness. We are here to share bold truths about health and life from a female perspective. This episode is brought to you by our team, Inspire Co., where we stand for your health being inspired by choice rather than being inhibited by chance. Thank you for being here and joining in on these raw, real, and powerful conversations. We hope our show brings you inspiration and empowerment to overcome challenges, reclaim your life, and ultimately pursue your mission with power, purpose, and play. Now, let's get into the episode. Hello, all you lions and lionesses. Welcome back to the Project Lioness podcast. This is your host, Dr. Mel and I am solo casting today with a little life slash lioness update. I have been in a massive creation mode this year, if you couldn't tell. And with that creation comes a lot of work and revamping and reorganizing and recreating behind the scenes. And the reason why I wanted to come on here today is one, to give you such an update, let you know, peel back the curtain, let you know what's happening behind the scenes, as well as let you know what's on the horizon for Project Linus, for Inspire Co., however you choose to interact with myself and what I've created and perhaps whatever vortex you find yourself in. You've probably noticed too, and maybe you haven't, I know this is something I notice as an entrepreneur, is my podcast release times have slowed down a little bit for intentional purposes. And that may become a theme this fall as I go into my cocoon and prep for 2025. So I'm still going to be releasing podcasts. I'm still going to be putting value out into the world. This season, as you know, if you've been a loyal listener, thank you, super appreciate you. This whole whole season has been bringing on guests who really align with the Project Lioness message of embodiment and empowerment and speaking into bold, real, raw truths and sinking our teeth in. So I wanted to come on here and share, number one, thank you. If you are just tuning into the podcast, if you're a loyal listener, Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Project Linus has been a a birth (laughs) and a rebirth again and again and again in something that is near and dear to my heart, even beyond my chiropractic practice. It is truly my life's work to encompass everything that I have created, everything I've learned, everything I've unlearned, and really my true my true voice, (laughs) my raw, unedited voice and and my birthing of this creation. It, it's really near and dear to my heart. So I really, really appreciate you hanging in with me, even if sometimes I don't release the podcast every other Friday. That happens, right? If you're a healer or a leader or an entrepreneur and you sometimes get stuck in the perfection mode or, oh, I didn't release it on time, you are not alone. I have been in this game for a long time. And I can tell you, my friends, that voice in the back of your head or even in your body doesn't go away. You just get better at navigating it. And so I said to myself, you know, do I just, okay, I haven't been on my regular routine of releasing episodes every other Friday. Do I just stop the podcast because I'm not in routine? And I asked myself this and I thought, what is this rule that I feel like I've created that one, I created it myself. (laughs) Two, why can't I break it? Well, what's the fear in breaking it and shifting it up a little bit? You know, we we as human beings are meant to evolve. We're meant to deconstruct things that no longer serve us as well as build something anew. And a lot of really, really amazing podcasters and mentors that I follow, they release podcasts whenever the hell they want. So I say that because one, that's my own stuff I'm working through knowing that, yes, I still have value and love to teach the world and I can break my own rules and get out of my own head. And two, that there's so many other people on the planet who do the same thing. And I'm very grateful that I get to learn from them and and stand on the shoulders of giants, as we say. So if you are someone who identifies as a healer, a leader, an entrepreneur, and you get stuck in that, oh my gosh, I'm not doing it perfect, congratulations and welcome to the club. (laughs) There's no way that we can get out of that. And in fact, it's, it's meant to happen, to allow us to break these constraints and rules that while they work in the beginning of starting anything, it's important to have structure and routine. 
as you grow, permission to evolve out of it and into something new. So thank you for being with me in my messiness. Thank you for being with me whenever I release the podcast, whenever makes sense. You know, I've, I've learned a lot about myself over the last couple of months too. I have recently gotten more into human design. For all you human design homies out there, I am a self-projected projector with a 1-3 authority or something like that. I don't quote me on that. I'm still, I'm still new. I'm still learning. But what I've learned about projectors is we, and I, you know, I'm one of those people where I don't try to identify a lot with personality things, but I think it's interesting. And this one's landing with me and for you other fellow projectors, uh, shout out. What I've learned about being a self projector projector is that we really require a lot of downtime and rest. And we, when we give ourselves that, when I've given myself that, I can often tap more into my creativity more often and downloads like this happen and they're more potent and they land in people's, not just their mind, but their heart and their soul. And they really feel like I'm, I'm speaking to the depths of who they are. And part of that is owning that within myself and not feeling like I need to generate and put out stuff all the time because the culture has created a world like that. And if you're an entrepreneur or a leader, maybe you struggle with that where you feel like you need to be putting out content all the time. But here's the thing, if you don't give yourself space to connect and connect with your own creative powers, your own potency, your own pleasure in the creation of it, it honestly doesn't land. It doesn't hit the depths of people, at least the way that I intend to. And often it's fluff. It's it's fast. It's trends. It's it's McDonald's information rather than I personally align more with deep wisdom, even if that means I'm not putting out as much content, but the content and the information and the wisdom that I do share hits much deeper. So that's what I've been up to, at least in the last couple months with human design. I've also been leaning into supporting my team at the office. Michael and I, as you know, those of you who listen to regular podcasts have really been leaning into our Inspire Business and Alignment Accelerator students. And it's been so fun and not without challenge. (laughs) And anytime we're in the beginning phase of anything, there's a lot of behind the scenes. So the reason why, again, I wanted to come on here is one, I am going to be taking a little bit of a step back from social media, from a lot of things I've been doing and putting out in the world and really looking inward, looking at behind the scenes, you know, being the admin, being the CEO, being the true entrepreneur and asking the question, what's serving me? What's serving my clients? What's serving y'all? What's serving this audience? And what, what isn't? What are things that simply feel like they're fluff or just trying to keep up with the culture so I can really let that go and delegate that and really lean into my zone of genius and my gifts. Because when I'm in that state, that's when I can serve you best. And I personally can serve myself best. I I show up best for myself, my health, my team, my family, my partner, and everyone that I serve. So if you notice that the podcast may dwindle down a little bit, don't worry, they're still happening. They may not release as much. They may not release on time, whatever that means, but you're still going to hear from me. And I'm also in that coming this fall. I haven't really chosen a date yet. I'm thinking November, depending on when I release this. I am going to be doing a whole month off of social media. And I will probably still be creating podcasts because it doesn't necessarily require me to go on social media. Thankfully, I've got a podcast team that helps me edit these and upload them, which is awesome. So grateful. And being able to take a step back from social media and technology is one of the greatest ways that we can tap back into our creativity. And if you feel inspired to join me, I welcome you. Uh, If you want to stay in touch with me, I am going to be communicating, like I said, still via podcast as well as my email list. Uh, I personally do like writing emails when I get the creative inspiration and the download. And that will be a way that you can stay in touch with me. So if you are not on my email list yet, I will drop a link below where you can actually, in exchange for getting a life alignment score, some of you have done that already, you can get on my email list. I'll make sure to add you and share all the wisdom that I'm gaining and all the insights and really the deep healing that I know is on the horizon. This has been something that I've wanted to do for quite a while. And as a business owner, those of you who are business owners can relate, uh, we do gain a lot of traction on social media. We've, We've received clients and practice members and patients from social media who have had literal life changing experiences. And so to 
close out and abstain from social media for a significant period of time definitely brought up some fear in me. And you business owners, again, probably relate because it's, it's, a, it's a funnel and it's a vortex in which I connect with people and they hear about our mission, they hear about our message and it's come to my attention from source and from the universe that it's time to take a break. I have taken four day breaks from social media. I have taken week long breaks. I have never done a month. So this is a stretch for me. And so if you're listening to this and you felt maybe a little consumed, you felt that dopamine seeking hit, truth be told, I've been, I've been in that a little bit, doing a lot of behind the scenes and studying the market and studying how I can serve people best. I often was finding myself uh, seeking that as well. And so becoming self-aware and being my own leader and, and walking my talk, I said, okay, this has become a little bit of a pattern that I've noticed within myself. And I have no regrets. I don't have guilt, but and I'd, I'd like to make a shift moving into 2025. And so if you'd like to join me starting November 1st, I'm going to be doing that all through the month of November. Yes, through Thanksgiving. And I'm going to be taking off uh, Instagram, taking off of TikTok and taking off of Facebook. I'm going to be inviting my team to help me out with that to still, we'll still be posting on the Inspire Life Cairo Center page on Instagram and Facebook, of course, because thankfully I have an amazing team. But it's really been awesome to grow my business and build sustainability and, and connect with so many amazing people in, in my programs. And it's time. It's time to detox. It's time to take a fast. And it's time to really go inward again and rewire these patterns and not feel like my system is tethered to these devices that keep us in these dopamine loops and keep us in that fight or flight state. And thankfully, I have enough self-awareness to recognize when I'm shifting out of my center and it's just time to come back to center. So I do plan to journal a lot and reflect and really work on some things behind the scenes, which I'll get to next. So don't go away. I'm going to let you guys know what's happening after that. But I do intend to come back after it and create a podcast for y'all to discover what I learned and how it impacts my nervous system how it impacts my physiology and ultimately my connection to source and my ability to be in that creative state <clears throat> where thoughts feel original and it doesn't feel like a, a prototype of the culture of all the social stuff. So anyway, more to come on that. And with that, as I give myself that break, and again, if you want to join me, let me know, join my email list or comment below or say, hey, I'm in, let's do it together. Let's hold each other accountable not via social media, we won't do that. But I'll share insights on my email list. So like I said, I'll drop a link below, you can do your life alignment score. And in exchange for that, you'll get added to my email list. But the reason why I'm also feeling called to take a step back from social media is because I've got a lot of things behind the scenes that I'm recreating, revamping, redoing. Number one is my Project Lioness cohort, which is my signature program that's all about a guided journey in helping you transform fear and survival instincts to more courage and clarity and confidence in every area of your life. Not just the physical or mental emotional healing that happens beautifully at Inspire Life, but really a deep embodied journey to explore how these survival instincts get embedded into us, these uh, trauma patterns and how to actually truly go to the core and heal it once and for all, and actually learn how to do these things on your own from the physical area of life, the mental emotional piece, as well as your career. I've had many Project Linus students and graduates now quit their job, start a business and do it successfully and not get stuck in the fear loops and patterns. We also in this program look a lot at our relationships, both with ourself, our partners, and the people that matter to us, our family, our coworkers, and our intimate, our most intimate relationships, and how to really be in those interpersonal relationships without actually losing that sense of self, building capacity in our nervous system to take on things that feel challenging or maybe once created a trigger and now has become our greatest triumph. 
We also explore languaging and leadership and entrepreneurship and our relationship with money and our relationship with sex and everything in between all the way to how to create your most aligned vision and mission and purpose on this planet. So it is a very robust program. It is absolutely amazing. The results are incredible. I love, 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 love working with people at this level, at this intimacy and teaching them how to become the master and the teacher and the sage and the guide of their own life and have less reliance on external systems and structures and really empower their own sense of self-worth from within. So if you're curious about that, like I said, I'm going to be redoing the entire curriculum, which is a lot of work. Another reason why I'm taking a break off social media to really focus on creating the best experience come 2025. So if this feels like it's something that has been calling to you for a while, maybe this is the first time you've heard it or you've been on the edge of like, okay, I feel like this program is really going to support me and help me rise up into my own lioness energy. I'm going to invite you to check it out. I'll drop a link in this podcast, the, both the application as well as the page that has all the information on there. And like I said, I'm redoing it, one, to make it more accessible to people. It is going to be a little bit of a longer program this time around, depending on when you're listening to this, because I've noticed that at some points people connect with me and they're ready to go and they're ready to jump in now. And at others, you know, there's there's time and, and work to be done before they choose to enroll in a program like this, to enroll in really what is a curriculum for life. You know, we weren't given a roadmap, at least I wasn't. I wasn't given a roadmap when I came out of my mother's womb. And so this is the roadmap to really help you unlearn those patterns and strategies that you feel are not really authentic to who you are. So I'll make sure I drop that in the show notes here. So you can check it out. And like I said, I'm revamping it to come back to that thought, I'm revamping it so that people can join when it feels aligned and join a community of people who are working on themselves as well as choosing to be in relationship. Because it's one thing, my friends, to go on a journey alone and, you know, do one-on-one work. And that's something I do offer, shifting that around as well. But it's another to really be in community. And that's one of the biggest things I've seen guiding now multiple, multiple students through this cohort over the last couple of years is the community piece, the ability to connect and realize oh, I don't have to do this alone. Healing can feel so isolated. We can feel so alone in our experience, especially when you're going to all these practitioners and all these guides and you feel like you're almost giving up your power in that. I'm here to help deliver your power and help you rediscover your power within yourself. I don't have all the answers. I'm not the guru. I'm not the magical genie on the top of the mountain with all the answers, but I've walked this path quite a few times and I've helped multiple people, multiple healers, leaders, creatives, entrepreneurs, walk this path multiple times, stepping over coals, navigating the twists and turns in the jungle. And I think I do a pretty good job, not to toot my own horn, but it's a pretty powerful program. So if you feel that call, you feel that roar, that rise within you, maybe into this fall or soon to be 2025, I'm going to invite you to join us. So I'll drop the links below and I promise you this program is like nothing you've ever experienced. Why? Because I've done a lot of programs, my friends. Trust me, I have spent and invested hundreds of thousands of dollars into my own personal wholeness and healing journey. And there's a lot out there, my friends, trust me. And I've walked through the jungle by myself with other mentors and leaders, and I've seen what's out there. And I do believe that there's nothing like Project Linus that exists. So I created it (laughs) as a projector does. So I'd love to see you. I'd love to support you in this journey. And I know that sometimes when you hear these things and you're embarking on a new journey, there's fear, there's resistance. And I can tell you that the very thing that you're seeking exists in the thing that we avoid. So lean into it. Say, okay, I have this fear and my life is worth it. My relationships are worth it. My career is worth it. Or, you know, maybe you're done with this career over here and you've had this idea or this project or this deep purpose within you that you really want to birth, but you just don't know how to do it. And I can tell you, if you're someone who is looking to step into entrepreneurship and business, this is a great program to help you work through all that inner turmoil, that turbulence, those patterns, those stories, those sort of experiences, those traumas, so that whatever you birth and create in the world, you're starting fresh. You're starting with a new perspective and you don't carry those patterns into your current and your next reality. Because my friends, we repeat what we don't repair. And so let's repair it. Let's make it whole. Let's truly resolve it. And really, this program is not about changing you. It's not about fixing you. It's about actually learning to love who you are 
and gain the wisdom from the wounds and the trauma, or rather the triumph from the trauma. And that is something I know after working with thousands of cases to this point in my career, I know that that is my superpower is really helping people go into their wounds and the crevices, you know, the dark parts that feel scary to go into. That's something I know I'm really great at and do every single day in the office as well as with my one-on-one clients and project line of students is taking them into those wounds, into the deep, dark, scary parts of the jungle, reconnecting with that, shifting perspective, shifting your physiology and coming out more confident and courageous on the other side and helping you turn your deepest wounds into your greatest wisdom and really allowing you to connect with your zone of genius that you know you are put on this planet to express and serve others. Ultimately, at the end of this, it's about serving and supporting others. Because once we feel whole and embodied and aligned, it's only natural to allow that energy to spill over into the people around us. So that is what I know to be true about a secret power. I know that I've helped so many people access within themselves and I love gifting to others and helping them unwind that and ignite that within their own being. So that's Project Lioness in a nutshell. There's so much more included in it. I won't give you all the details. Like I said, you can explore that for yourself, but it's very robust. There's so much included. The value is absolutely there and it's super, super fun. It's fun. It's uh, it's a wild ride and it is so worth it. So like I said, I'll drop the links in the show notes. I'm gonna be redoing the entire curriculum. So whoever joins in 2025, you're gonna get a fresh set of eyes, a fresh perspective, and it's gonna be magical. On top of that, as we enter into more of the fall, one thing that has emerged for me is many Project Lioness students and people I've worked with over the years, my one-on-one clients have said, hey, Dr. Mel, I want to like, I, I'm stepping into my leadership. I'm stepping into my healing capacity. I want to learn what you do. I want to learn this methodology that you've created. So that's another thing I'm working on behind the scenes is creating my own method, which my friends is cracking me open. It, it, you know, I knew that I would get here at some point, but I didn't know when. And the invitation from the universe and my clients and friends, it's, it's there. It's popping. And I would be lying if I said that I had, you know, I didn't have any fear. I'm definitely in a state of like, okay. And, and you guys know in Project Lioness, this is all about bold, real, raw truths. And so I am embodying that and expressing that. So perhaps it gives you permission to do the same, knowing that you can have fear and still be an amazing leader. You can be vulnerable and still be a kick-ass team member or fan or or mother or father however you identify and so I'd be lying if I said I didn't have some fear uh it's cracking me open and I know this is this is my next step is to really compile and and compilate and create a curriculum for people who want to learn the methodologies that I bring my students through and my one-on-one clients through and help those people step into their leadership so they can serve their communities all across the globe you know, some of you who have been following me for a while, Project Lion has started as, as literally an idea. Uh, in 2020, I got the download and I didn't really address it then because there was so much going on in the universe, but it kept knocking at the door. And I said this to a client the other day. I said, you know, that creative energy that flows through us, if we don't listen to the tap or the call, it's going to go to someone else because it wants to be birthed and expressed and, you know, it wants to live. It wants to be ex- expressed in a three-dimensional reality. So I'm listening. (laughs) Am I scared? Yes. Am I simultaneously excited? Yes. And both can exist. You can live in that paradox and act confidently and be embodied even when you're feeling both. That's the secret sauce of life, my friends, is how can you exist in the center of the paradox of I'm simultaneously afraid and I'm doing it anyway and just be Be in that space of both possibilities, being a reality in your mind and your consciousness, which requires a lot of self-awareness and something I love to teach others. So now you know, at least some of it, a droplet of it, of what's happening behind the scenes at Inspire Co., Inspire Life, Project Linus, and, and everything in between. And I'll leave you with this. If something is important to you, if it's, if it really matters, even if it's scary, but it's important, right? It's in your values. You will make it work. You will find the resources. You'll find the time, the energy, the resources, the money, the mindset. You'll find it. You'll make it happen. 
You'll create it to happen. You won't wait for it to happen, but you'll step into that, right? That fear is that like, ugh, and do it anyway. If it's not important to you or you don't see the value or you don't see the benefit of what could be or how it will impact your values and meaning in your life, we make excuses. And listen, I am not separate from that statement. For many, many years, I had made excuses of why I couldn't birth this into the world or if I was good enough or I was, if I was a, you know, loyal or humble or whatever enough leader. All these stories that emerge, I am not separate from that. And alongside you, I am working through that myself. And again, I wanted to come on here briefly, do a solo podcast to just be like, hey, I'm with you. I see you. I get it. Let's, let's do this together. You know, whatever you're up to, whether you're creating a family or starting a business or you're rising in your leadership and your job or you're looking to, you know, be a more coherent partner or mom or dad, I see you and I'm with you. And it's not always easy, but it's damn fulfilling when you listen to that whisper and turn it into the greatest wisdom and gift that really is your life. So anyway, thanks for tuning in with me. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being a loyal lioness listener. And as always, my friends, this is the place where you can come to reclaim your power, pursue your purpose, and play all out in life. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace, love, and keep inspiring. Thank you for joining the Project Lioness podcast. Did you find value in today's episode? Help us impact the lives of others by sharing this podcast with someone you know who would resonate and benefit from the Project Lioness message. Excited to hear more? We invite you to subscribe on whatever platform you're tuning in on. And we'd be so grateful for you to leave us a review about what you enjoy most, as well as what you'd like to hear more of. Thank you so much for all of your support. Sincerely yours in power, purpose, and play. Dr. Mel with the Project Lioness podcast. Keep rising, keep roaring, and keep inspiring.